In this video, we are going to continue with the vision of polynomials. You will find this on page 380 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Divide a polynomial by a quadratic divisor. We can use the same division algorithm process that we used to divide by a linear expression to divide by a quadratic expression. The division process will stop when the remainder has a degree less than one of the divisors. But let's explain it by using this example. So divide this by this. We should always arrange both the dividend and the divisor in descending or ascending powers of x. So either both descending or both ascending. If any intermediate power does not occur, so if there's a missing out, say it's 3, then 1, then, then we should insert the missing term with a coefficient of 0. And this is what's happening here. Because, okay, first you arrange, there's a 4, there's a 3, but there's not a 2. So you put a 0 for the 2. And there's the 1, and then there's the constant. And then you divide. Okay, so after that, we take this, divide by this. Now, it's sometimes good to write it just underneath, so there's the answer. Then I multiply, multiply, multiply. So if I want to illustrate this to you, it's just I do it with that one, I do it with that one, and I do it with that one. So there will be three. Then I change the sign because I subtract. So all the signs must change. And then I get, okay, so in basically this is going to become positive, negative, negative. So this is going to be 4x to the power 3. So again, if I divide, I get to get 2x. Then I multiply, 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 and I get this. Okay, okay. so this, this, this is what I got. This is what I was bringing down with that extra. Then I subtract, and I get this. And what I mean here, as soon as you see, because I must take this one divide by this one. So if this exponent is smaller than that one, then I stop. Then that is part of the remainder. Then there's just a variable in the remainder. Okay. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one, get the color, number one D and number two, uh, let's, what will we do? Number two C. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number one D. Okay. And if I write it in, uh, now let's just see. I'm going to make it in descending. Okay, let's just see if my space is enough there. Otherwise, I can just move a little bit. So this is going to be 16, y to the power of 4. Okay, then it's plus 0, y to the power of 3. Okay, minus 38, y squared minus 30y, and I still have to move it a little bit, 30y minus 9. Okay, and then I'm going to arrange this one also, so it's 2y squared, always grab your sign in front, minus y, minus 5, and now I start. I take this and I divide it by this. So 16 divided by 2, so that will be 8y squared. And then I multiply, multiply, multiply. So that will be 16y to the power of 4 minus um, 8y to the power of 3 minus 40y to the power of 2. Then I draw the line, and I change the signs. I subtract. Now, as soon as I subtract, and I just want to show you, then this becomes a negative. Oh, the pin. This is, I always like to just make a circle around to indicate I already changed it. Okay. And then, this is nothing. So what do I get here? In this case, I'm going to get um, 8y to the power of 3. 
Okay, if I do bring this one down, this one is going to be 2y squared minus 13y. Okay, so basically, let's just go on. Then I take this one, divide by this one. So 8 divided by 2, uh, 8 this one, so it's going to be 4. And it's just going to be y. And then I multiply, so it's going to be 8y3. I multiply minus 4y squared. I multiply minus 20y. Then I'm taking the line. And then I change the signs because I subtract. Okay, and then this one cancel out. And this one, it's going to be 6y squared. And this one is going to be uh, plus 7y and minus that 9. Okay, and then I divide again. So I take this, divide this, and I get what? I get 3, only 3, because the y squares cancel. So I multiply, I get 6y squared. I multiply, I get negative 3y. I multiply, I get negative 15. And I draw the line. And I change the signs. Okay, and this cancel, and then this one is 7 plus 3, so this is going to be 10y, and 15 minus this is going to be 6. And then uh, the quotient, so let's just oh, let's move this. So therefore, I can end up by saying the quotient. Now, again. And that is going to be that part on top. And the remainder is going to be 10y plus 6. That line must not be there. That's worth that moving. Okay. And that is your final answer. Not so difficult. The process is exactly the same. Just remember to multiply, multiply, multiply with all three. Okay, let's do number 2C. Now, I gave it 2C because it looks more complicated than it is really. Or it looks too small on top, <laughs> basically. Okay, if I'm doing it, let's just first write it down. There is it. Okay, so I'm going to fill in. There is my x plus 1. Now, you make this x to the power 3, then you can make 0x2 plus 0x, and there's plus 0, but it's not necessary. Okay. Then I do exactly the same as I did with the previous one. So I take this, divide this. So it's x squared. And then I start and I multiply. So if I multiply, I get x3. If I multiply, I get x2. Then I take the, and I draw the line. Then I change the signs. Okay, so now remember that this one is going to be negative x squared. Then I divide, and this is negative x. Okay, I can bring that one down. I multiply. I get negative x squared. I multiply, I get negative x. I draw the line. I change the signs. And then, basically, this cancel, and here I'm sitting with x. Then I divide, and I get 1. You see how long it actually becomes? Okay, then I multiply, I can bring that zero down, it's not necessary. I multiply, and I multiply. I draw the line, I change the signs. So it's nothing, and it's negative one. 
So if I'm going to end up, I'm going to say therefore the quotient is going to be x squared minus x plus 1 and the remainder is going to be negative 1. And that's the final answer. It comes from ordinary level, uh, but we use it. We will look at the short method in the next example, but it's very important that you can do long division.